The space sector is a vital part of the UK economy, with the government outlining its ambitions in the National Space Strategy. I'm joined by Claire Barcham, Director of Strategy at the UK Space Agency, to tell us more. So 2022 is set to see the first UK space launch. Why is this so important? Well, it's both important and incredibly exciting. I'll, I'll second that. <laughs> if we think about it, for some time now, satellites have been getting smaller and the UK pioneered that technology decades ago. But the rockets haven't got smaller to match. So for some time, if you wanted to get your small satellite into orbit, you had to take a bus. <laughs> you joined multiple other satellites sharing a ride into space, but it meant that you couldn't control the destination, you couldn't control the timetable. A few years ago, we saw the first smaller rockets being introduced. What that means is now if you have a small satellite and you'd like to get it into orbit, you've got the choice to call a taxi instead, <laughs> giving you greater control over your destination and your timetable. And offering those services from the UK means that we can help to boost our economy, creating new jobs and offering a great service for satellite operators. Because I suppose these small satellites have been developed um, across the world and there aren't many sort of, as you say, taxis available. Absolutely. So it does give us a, an advantage. <laughs> Absolutely. We'd like to be one of the first and leading spaceport operators in Europe. So how has all this been made possible? It's been a huge team effort with government working with industry, both in the UK and around the world. We offered our first funding back in 2018 to help companies to set up new manufacturing facilities in Scotland and develop new launch technology. We worked closely with our partners in the US government to create a treaty, a landmark treaty that's enabled US companies to bring their technology to UK spaceports for the first time. We've also worked hard to put the regulation in place that means we can license safe and sustainable launches. I suppose the regulation is quite critical for this sort of thing. Absolutely, and it's the first time in the UK that we've licensed activity like this. So really important to make sure that we took the time to get it right. How is the UK Space Agency supporting the UK space sector? Well, our new national space strategy sets a brilliant ambition. We'd like to make the UK one of the world's most attractive and innovative space economies. To get there, the UK Space Agency is doing three things. We are catalyzing investment, bringing high value contracts and investment into our UK space sector. We are delivering the capabilities and missions that advance our science and engineering and also meet our national needs. And we are championing space, whether that's to new investors, new customers or to the next generation. Mm. Yes, I think uh, getting the next generation fired up and sort of space savvy is quite important, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, our sector continues to grow and that wouldn't be possible without new talent coming into the UK space sector. Why is space such a good career? Well, I'm biased. I think it's a fantastic <laughs> career because it's so rewarding. You get to be involved in some really cutting edge missions that are helping to advance our knowledge of the universe. You're involved in activities that are protecting our planet, including monitoring climate change. And you're involved in really innovative um, businesses and entrepreneurship. I think that there are so many different careers that could be offered in the space sector. We often think about science and engineering, and of course the UK has some of the world's leading universities, but it's so much more than that. We need space lawyers, we need space communicators and policy officials like me. I do find that when I speak about space, people just think of the science, but of course it's, it's actually a sort of an industry, and so you need the sort of the full gambit. You really do. There are so many different and diverse career paths in space. So Claire, what does the future of space here in the UK look like to you? Well, incredibly exciting. We've spoken about spaceflight in the UK this year, which is something really to look forward to. But the UK is also involved in the generation's most exciting and interesting space missions. We are working as part of Artemis, the American-led program to return humans to the moon, to build a lunar gateway or a space station orbiting the moon and to explore Mars. UK companies are also transforming the way in which we use space, both now and in the future, through technologies like robotics in space. We can build new structures that will one day enable us to take space energy directly from space to our homes and also to clean up after ourselves by removing space debris. So it's pretty comprehensive, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. The, the future in space is very exciting. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us about the bright future. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs>